Hello. Let me tell you a little story. So a friend of mine's getting married and his fiance is making a playlist for people to enjoy during the cocktail hour. And he's watching his fiance put these songs on a playlist and going, okay, hey, try this song, try this song. And his fiance is going, no, that doesn't match. No, that doesn't fit. No, that doesn't go. And where are we, right? We're a bunch of songs on a playlist, some that match, some that don't match, but we don't know why. And why is that? Because we don't know what the vision is for the playlist. We know when it's going to be played. We know what purpose it serves, but we actually don't know why it's there and what it's trying to achieve. And that's why you need a vision, because as soon as his fiance said, oh, actually, I want people to feel this way, perfect. Now I know exactly what kind of songs to add to that playlist. Silly example, but this is strategy playing out in life, right? So if we think it's hard to come up with the right playlist, what do you think is happening in the rest of your life? You know, and so we're, most of us are continually taking actions like putting songs on a playlist, but we're not actually sure what it's adding up to. And we don't know if what it adds up to is actually what we want in the first place because we haven't gotten clear on what we want or what steps to take to get us there. So this is big stuff, right? Like, why do anything if we don't know for sure that it's going to get us where we want to go? A, because we got to know where, you know, we know where we want to go, and B, because we know the actions that align to get us there. This is soul level work. This is why it's important. The flip side of that is for people who feel paralyzed and in, unable to take action because they're not sure what actions are the right ones, and that's because those people don't have a sense of self that's strong enough to really pull their vision forward. So when you don't have a vision, that's clear, you're either spinning your wheels, taking lots of actions, unsure about where it's going, or the opposite happens, you're paralyzed and unable to take action because you're not sure where it's going. But both of those point to the same problem, we don't know where we're going. So on a personal level, I understand the desire to, for quick fixes, right? Like, as a person who runs a business myself, I would love to, like, buy this new software and have it magically change my whole business, right? Or buy, hire this coach and all of a sudden everything about my life will be perfect. Like I would love for those quick fixes. But what happens when we buy into what I call tactical level solutions, meaning solutions on the level of action, is it doesn't actually solve the problem of clarity on the level of the soul. That high level soul-based vision and clarity. And when we have that, we can trickle it down to figure out exactly what actions we need to take. But there's a couple steps in between there that most people miss. Meaning that when we take an action, we don't think, oh, I want to create a million dollars, let me send an email. Right? Like there's a big gap and a lot of assumptions between those two things. So in order to make sure that sending an email is actually getting you to a million dollars, we've got to connect those dots. And many of us try to connect them in reverse, meaning, well, I sent an email, so let's see how that fits into a bigger strategy because I know I should send an email. But if we flip it around, start at the vision, I wanna make a million dollars, okay, what does that look like for me? How does that feel for me? Why do I wanna do it? What pieces are involved in it? How do all my skills and talents add into it? What's the most effective way to get there? And it may turn out that the most effective way to get there is to call three other people and have them sell you something for you instead of writing an email. Now again, another silly example, but the point I'm trying to make is that action without knowing where you're going and why is irrelevant. Like it's just not going to get you anywhere. It's a total waste of energy. And I'm a strategist and a yogi, and we only have two things in common. We don't like to waste energy, and we really care about where we're going, right? Like we're really into the highest level goal, and we don't like to waste any energy. And it is just flat out, it's a waste of money, it's a waste of time, it's a waste of your mental effort, it's a waste of your network, it's a waste of your favors with people, it's a waste of everything to just throw actions at a wall and hope that they're going to get you to happiness if you haven't defined what happiness looks and feels like for you. So that's why soul love is so valuable. It's valuable in a business context, it's valuable in a personal context, it's valuable in a relationship context, right? How many of us have said, oh, I just want to be in a loving relationship mean <laughs> right like what does that mean to you because I could 
you know, flow love all over you, like blah, blah, blah. And you might not even feel it. You might not understand love in my definition, right? So we've got to get really clear on what we actually mean by these things. And so many people say, I want to live on purpose. I want to feel like I have a purpose. I want to feel like my life is purposeful. And what we really mean, most people, what they really mean when they're saying that is, I want to feel like my day-to-day -day activities feel meaningful, right? And that's a very different question. That's about how does the task that I'm at at hand right now feed into a bigger meaning of my life and how I connect to other people and life in general, right? And that's the type of question that we can answer with soul level work. It's the type of question that we can answer with strategic visioning work with the soul. It's not a question we can answer with action. So that's it. That's why everything else is a waste of money if you don't have that soul level clarity because you're just going to spin your wheels or you're going to stay paralyzed, and either way, you're not going to know where you're going, you're not going to know if you get there, <laughs> or even recognize it, and more importantly, you don't have the sensation of meaning, and it being truly meaningful action, fulfillment, all of that deep soul level contentment. We don't have that if we haven't connected the dots between them. We're just sort of stumbling and hoping to hit it. Hope that's helpful and clears up some questions for you.